Additional Diagnostic Evaluation Actions To annotate a nerve or a tooth, specific diagnostic functionalities are available. To annotate other anatomical structures, points or lines can be used. Select the point icon at the top of the screen, and then click in either a 3D or 2D scene to show a point with an arrow. This point can be adjusted by clicking and moving the point. Or you can delineate important anatomical structures using the Line tool. Mark out points and right-click to finish. The line can be adjusted by clicking and moving the points. The Distance tool measures distances in 3D. Just indicate two points. The measurement can be updated by moving the points. The Angle tool measures a 3D angle. Just indicate three points. This measurement can be adjusted by moving the points. The angle will automatically be updated. The 3D angle is displayed next to the measurements and also at the bottom left corner of the screen. Hounsfield unit values can also be measured if a medical CT scanner has been used. Move the point by clicking on it and the value will update as the point is moved. When using a cone beam CT scanner to obtain the DICOM images, a warning will typically pop up when using this measurement that the measurement is in gray values and not Hounsfield unit values. Angles between implants can be measured once the implants have been planned. To measure the angle between two implants, select first one implant by left-clicking on the implant in the 3D viewer. The implant angle icon becomes active now. Press this icon. Next, select the second implant by left-clicking on the second implant in the 3D viewer. The measurement is shown in the 3D scene and at the bottom left corner of the screen. If for both implants abutments have been planned, the 3D angle between the abutment axis is shown as well. The Set Focus icon allows you to set the position of the 2D reslice to a certain location on the 3D model. Press this icon and select a position on the 3D model. The cross-sectional reslice will automatically be located at this position. You can use this action when you are in the panoramic workspace and indicate a position on the OPG or panoramic reslice. The cross-sectional reslice will jump automatically to this position. Or you can also use the set focus action to position the cross-sectional reslice immediately at a certain tooth number position. To do so, press the icon, enter the tooth number on your keyboard, and press the Enter key. The reslice will jump to a position in the neighborhood of this tooth number position. Change Workspace will allow you to change into one of your other workspaces available. For example, the 3D workspace. C-section Change Workspace for more information. The last two actions, Set Focus and Change Workspace, can also be found in the Tools menu to the right of the screen. Also, shortcut keys are available for these actions. See Section Shortcuts. Additionally, when selecting the cross-sectional reslice, more diagnostic tools can be found in the cross-sectional tab, which will appear. In this tab, in the Position section, you can find actions to rotate and tilt the reslice, enabling you to diagnose the patient's anatomy in detail. In the Shape section, you can decide which cross-sectional reslice is to show in the 3D scene. By default, only the perpendicular reslice is made visible, but also the horizontal, as the parallel reslice can be shown. By pressing the clipping icon, the 3D scene is clipped away at one side of the cross-sectional reslice. This enables you to diagnose the patient's anatomy inside the 3D model. In the Materials section, you can also activate Color Mapping. When activated, all reslices, including the OPG or Panorex, will show up with colors instead of grayscale. Color mapping can be useful to diagnose specific anatomical structures on the X-ray data. Several of these diagnostic functionalities are also available for the standard reslices and the panoramic reslice. To access these functionalities for those reslices, right-click on the reslice in the 3D viewer 
and select the wished action from the contextual menu.